Tonight, an Indianapolis mother of two was trying to figure out what is next for her family after a fire ripped through her house on Sunday, leaving a path of ash and soot behind. Before going to the breaking news tonight, our Chase Howell met the homeowner on Dearborn Street to see this damage firsthand. It's gone. Yeah, it's all gone. It's all gone. It all burned down. Kids' toys scattered among the ash and what's left of the home. We kept hearing a lot of like noises. It was like boom, boom, boom. So we, I went to go see what it was, and then the whole back of my house was on fire. 19-year-old Justice Joyner, her one-year-old daughter, her mom, and two sisters inside the home as the fire spread. I grabbed my car keys and my baby, and that was it. And I was out of the house. <laughs> grabbed nothing else. The heat of the fire shattering windows and melting the siding of the home. The flames destroying nearly everything in its path. Both of my daughters came home here. Both of my daughters walked here. I grew up here, went to high school here. My sisters grew up here. This was the first home that my mom had purchased with her husband at the time. Um, so it's really a tragedy for us as of right now. It's broken. What should I do? Oh, it's okay. It's so broken. Yeah, it's so broken. The fire taking place just three days before Everly's third birthday. Nobody was harmed at all by any smoke, no, um, no burns, no anything, nothing at all. So I'm just super grateful. Your heart breaks for that young family tonight. The Indianapolis Fire Department is telling us the cause of that fire is still under investigation. The family is telling us they are being helped out by the Red Cross.